Hi, George here. And here's an easy way to get a soft edge mask around a picture. We'll be taking this picture here and placing her into this picture back here with a nice soft edge around it. Now, there are different ways of doing this. I'll be showing you one technique. This is my favorite way of doing this. If you want to find out other ways, you want to learn how to use all the different tools that are in here inside of Photoshop Elements, the best way to do that is with my complete training course. Where I cover everything, all the tools, all the menus, all the panels, right-hand side, everything. And I'll put a link for that at the top of the description. Okay, the first thing we want to do is to combine these two images. Now, I have this as a floating window. If you don't have that set up, go up here to Edit, come down to Preferences and General. And that's a checkbox right here, Allow Floating Documents in Advanced Mode. Now it says advanced as opposed to expert. Before then it was expert mode, same thing. This is unchecked by default. So let's go ahead and check that and choose OK. There we go. And again up here, advanced mode used to be called expert. Now it's called advanced. And the reason why I do this is so I can go over here and just take the background, drag it onto this photo, and it brings it in like that. We can get rid of that one. There we go. It's now in here as its own separate layer. Let's now make this a bit smaller. So I want to get my control handles up here. And that's the control T keyboard shortcut. And there's your control handles. Grab a corner and just pull it in towards the picture. And that brings our picture down. We'll find a nice size of this, maybe somewhere around here. Looks pretty good. Choose OK on that one. I now want to make a selection around this. We'll use the selection to make a layer mask. So go up here to the select tools. And I want to have this down here set at the elliptical marquee. And where it says feather, Make sure that there's nothing over here. Make sure that that says zero on feathering. Now, normally when you pull in a selection like this, it comes in and you can just adjust the size like that. Also notice how it pulls from the upper left-hand corner. If you want to control that, hold the shift key down and it gives you a perfect circle as you drag that down. Control D to deselect. And the question is, where do you want to have that circle? Where do you want that corner to be? And that's easy. You want your rulers on. That's at the top and left-hand side. Go up here to view. And check rulers right there. You can then pull a guideline down. So I'll put one at the top of the picture right there. And the left hand side, I'll pull this in from the left hand side. I'm just kind of eyeballing this. I want to make sure that her image is inside that circle. So kind of like this. And then right up here is where you want to start your selection from. So I'll put my marquee right on that spot, on that corner. I'll pull down from there. And that should give me a nice circle. Now notice it's a little off in here. So again, hold the shift key down. You can hold it down while you're making your selection. And that becomes a perfect circle. And I'll put it right about like that. And then click on the layer mask button over here. And this gives you a layer mask in that circle shape. We can now get rid of these guidelines. Go up here to view. I'll just clear the guides. There we go. And you can then position this where you want to try to get the best look for this. I think right about here is pretty good. But we have this really hard edge. And that's what we're trying to get rid of in this video. So make sure that you're on the layer mask. Look for that light blue outline. And then go up here to filter. Come down to Blur. You want the Gaussian Blur right there. And what that does is it allows you to blur the edge of that outline. Now, notice on one thing. I did this on purpose. If I blur this out, we have a hard line here at the top. So our circle has to be inside of that hard line. Now, there is a way to fix that in this image. Luckily, her hair goes up to that edge there, and then its background behind that. We can fix that even after we've made this circle. We just need to fill that in with something up here. So... I'm going to go over here on the layer mask, right click on the layer mask. Let's disable the layer mask. We just have this dark color right there, it just cuts off at the top. I want to have more darkness up here. Double click on the image side. Let's grab the paintbrush. You want to be careful about this. I have my paintbrush on a soft edge brush. Right now it's 80 pixels, that's a pretty good size. And then come up here, hold the Alt key down, click into the background. That selects that color, and I can then paint more of that background up here. I'm just going to fill that in just like that. And then go back over here to your layer mask, right click and enable layer mask. And there we go. So if you get that problem, you have a hard edge, you can easily fix that just like that. And there we go. Here's our nice soft edge image placed inside of another image. Very easy to do. And you can use this for greeting cards, business card, whatever you like. Just put in your text in here and you're all set. Now, again, if I covered any of these too fast in this video, you can get more in-depth explanations on the different tools, like on the marquee tool over here and on the filters up here and also on the Gaussian blur, all of these things in my complete training course. I cover all of this stuff. And again, I'll put a link for that at the top of the description. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that thumbs up. I really appreciate that. If you don't want to miss any videos in the future, make sure you subscribe. It's easy to lose channels here on YouTube, so make sure you subscribe so you don't lose my channel. 
and I'll see you next time.